Did you have musicians in your family? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, everybody kind of sang in tune and tapped their feet in, in time, but no, no, nobody, no. And when I come from, the, the idea of making a career as a musician or an actor, or, I mean, you know, all they were the struggling to put food on the table. That, uh, that's, that's my uh, earlier life. Uh, you know, I come from nowhere, nothing. And, you know, to wind up like this, it was never, it, I would say my dream came through, but I never even dreamt that. Maybe we're all born with the gifts inside of us. And it's like life is the treasure hunt to see if you <laughs> can find it. it. Right, that's, that's great. Is it true that you were a CBS page at the CBS Broadcast Center? I was, I loved it. Okay, do you know we film our show at the CBS Broadcast no Center? No kidding. Can you believe it? You are at the Barrymore Theater and I work where you used to work. Every morning. Every morning for five, like three, three or four years, yeah, that was where I, found, I, I actually played my first uh, grand piano because they had a grand piano in one of the rehearsal rooms, and uh, oh my God, that moment, hitting the, the 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 keyboard on a Steinway piano, and they have that in in one of the rehearsal halls. But did it know, sound and feel different? Oh yeah. Like coming home. <laughs> Well, it was fantastic. It was heaven. I was known as the uh, as the piano playing mailboy, and um, <laughs> whenever I would finish my mail run, I would run into the rehearsal hall, and everybody would come. <laughs> all the secretaries and everybody would come, and we would all I play, and they'd sing, and oh, it was a great it was a great job. Were you happy there? I loved it. I love television people.